Hello Pisces, and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will take a look into what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey in their day at the time they view this video. Let's see what messages and guidance we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? The first message we have is the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. This is also Pisces energy. What do you want? What are you longing for? What are you desiring? What would make you feel really fulfilled? The Nine of Cups is also your wishes. Wishes granted. What other messages for Pisces? Then we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, both nines are coming to the end of a cycle. So what you're really wanting, it seems as though you're really working for. Some of you may feel as though you have drained energy during this time, that you are you keep doing the same thing but not getting different results. Let's see what other messages we have for you. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? The next messages we get, quite a few coming out here. Let me square these away. All right, the next message we have is the chariot. So you're going to move forward from an exhausting period. Moving forward very successfully, very victoriously. Some of you are going to be traveling as well. The chariot is also Cancerian energy. There could be a decision or a choice that is being presented needing to use your logical mind towards a completion or deciding what is going to be more fulfilling for you. The world card also talks about cycles. A new cycle could be, be beginning. And then we have the Queen of Wands, Feminine, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands is a super attractor looking forward towards the future. Um, I'm hearing with great expectancy. So let's dive into this reading and see what's going on. On the surface level, I'm not getting too much more information. So we're, going, we're probably going to have to dive in a little bit down into this message. What is this Nine of Cups, please? What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? You know, I feel most of you are really willing to work and put in the effort towards what you're wanting. What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? For the Nine of Cups, we're having the Two of Wands, another decision deciding what it is you truly want, what it is you desire. What is this Two of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Two of Wands, please? Thank you. And we have two cards, so two, oh, three cards. The first one is the Six of Swords. You want to move forward into calmer waters. But then we have the Devil, Capricorn, energy coming up with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, also that Earth energy. I think here this is saying that during Capricorn season, you're going to be moving forward into a much more solid, much more abundant time, something much better for you, a much better future. Right now, you may be processing what it is you want, what it is you desire. I am feeling the energy with the Nine of Wands that a number of you have had some setbacks. Let's clarify this devil energy to see what's going on. Spirit, what is this devil energy for Pisces? Why do we have the devil here? And for the devil, we have the strength card coming up. One more card for this devil, please. One more card for this devil. And we have three cards coming out for the devil. So we're going to take them. We'll just see what's going on. We have, okay, so the devil's coming out as a devil. Um, there is something I feel you're going to need to overcome. You've been looking on a new horizon. And then we have the two of wands again. There's going to make be a decision that you'll need to make that may be difficult for you to make regarding... Now, it could be during Capricorn season, but I feel it's also something that could be chaining or binding you. Let's continue with the reading and see what else we get. 
What is this nine of wands for Pisces, please? What is this nine of wands? I'm hearing let go of a struggle. The nine of wands is clarified by the knight of wands. The knight of wands is moving, relocation, determined energy. It's also in and out, very flighty energy. Let's get one more card for this knight of wands. One more card for this knight of wands, please, spirit. One more card for this Nine of Wands, thank you. And we have the Six of Wands. So we have a lot of wand energy, a lot of passionate energy. You're going to overcome this, whatever this is for you. What is this Knight of Wands, please? What is this Knight of Wands, thank you. For the Knight of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you are moving forward towards positive change here. And what is this Six of Wands, please? What is this Six of Wands, please? Thank you. And we have the world. So you are moving forward towards a completion, towards something that is going to be much more satisfying. I, I am feeling the energy here, Pisces, that you've been doing something that has not been fulfilling, that has not given you the rewards or the outcomes that you had been hoping for. And it's feel, it may be feeling quite heavy, quite burdensome. The devil also can be obsession. Some of you could have been obsessing about some situation. What is this chariot here for, please? Why do we have the chariot here? For the chariot, we're getting the high priestess. So Pisces energy, intuitive energy with the six of cups. The empress. And the magician. So we have three major arcana along with the six of cups. So you're going to be guided by your intuition to move forward from your past into a much more abundant, a much more productive time for yourself. You are working to manifest something new. You have the skills, talents, and abilities to move forward from whatever this burdensome situation is. I, I feel I'm feeling um, a sense of weight upon you what is this high priestess for pisces and we have the ace of cups a new emotional beginning a new relationship a washing away allow your intuition to guide you to a new beginning what is the six of cups for pisces for the six of cups we, we're getting the nine of swords you could have some stress and worry some anxiety regarding your past or a past person perhaps even past actions what is this empress please and we have the hierophant coming up your belief structures the organization around you maybe feeling as though you're at a crossroads what is this magician please some of you may even be questioning your belief systems um here for the magician we have the two of swords coming up for the second time so it's a decision about what, what it is you truly want, what you want to manifest, and conversely, what you don't want to manifest. I, I feel a number of you, wow, okay. So I, I'm hearing some of you have been trying to manifest love. That's not going to be for all of you. But it seems as though that hasn't necessarily been panning out the way you have been desiring. What is this Two of Swords for Pisces? What is this Two of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we're getting the seven of pentacles. So this is really thinking long and hard about what it is you want, making a decision here. What it is you want to invest in. What is the seven of pentacles, please? Why do we have the seven of pentacles? For the seven of pentacles, we are getting the high priestess for the second time, along with the ace of pentacles. You know, you really want something new. You want your intuition to guide you to a new opportunity, something you can touch, taste, and feel. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is showing me, hold on guys. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, please. Um, this is showing me that there, there is something in your life that has not been as fulfilling as you had hoped for it to be. There could even be a sense of, I'm hearing as though you're living in some type of shell. Um, what is this world for Pisces, please? And when I say shell, like there's a hollowness, um, a sense of lack of fulfillment. What is this world for Pisces? 
And we have the Page of Wands, a message coming through, a new journey, good news. What is this world for Pisces, please? What is this world? Thank you. For the world, we're getting the fool. So you're going to be going, it does seem here, based on the cards that are coming out, making a decision to go in a new direction that's going to give you a sense of adventure, that's going to answer the call of fulfillment for you. What is this page of wands for Pisces? Whoa. And hold on, the card fell. We have the page of swords, so messages coming through. Let's pull one more card for this page of wands. My hair went all over the place there. It's in my face. All right, what is this page of wands for Pisces, please? What is this page of wands for Pisces, please, for Show us clearly. And we're getting the five of cups. So unfortunately, we do see a message regarding something that is disappointing for you. And I think that the disappointment was that thing that was lacking fulfillment for you. The first card of you, the reading is Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. We're seeing the World card coming through. That's also fulfillment as well. Fulfillment of cycles, fulfillment of this fool's journey. What is this Page of Swords for Pisces? What is this Page of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what this Page of Swords is. For the Page of Swords, we're getting the Three of Swords along with the Four of Pentacles. It's time to release something that was heartbreaking, something that was burdening you, something that was disappointing. Let's take a look at this Five of Cups to see what this disappointment was. What is this Five of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Five of Cups for? Thank you. For the Five of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles. It could be a project, a partnership, a collaboration was disappointing for you. What is this fool for Pisces, please? What is this fool for Pisces, please, Spirit? Why do we have the fool here? Thank you. Two cards. The first one is the Six of Pentacles, followed by the Magician. So wanting, again, wanting to manifest something to come to you. Why do we have the Six of Pentacles here, please? Why, why do we have the Six of Pentacles here, please? And we have the nine of pentacles and the magician, please. Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Thank you. For the magician, we're getting the ace of pentacles. So you're wanting an increase. You're wanting fulfillment in your 3D world. You're wanting things you can touch, taste, feel. Ace of pentacles coming out twice. The nine of pentacles, something coming towards you for your increased securities. You know, I, I keep getting that there's a lack of fulfillment in a particular area of your life. It could be love, it could be work, it could be relationships. However that is for you, this reading is asking you to take stock of the area that you're desiring to have fulfillment in and perhaps look at it differently. Let's see what this Queen of Wands is. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here, please? To look at it from a place of empowerment rather than a place of lack and burden. What is this Queen of Wands, please? For the Queen of Wands, we're getting the World card for the third time. So again, that's really speaking to the fulfillment, looking at what is going to be satisfying for you, what is going to be complementary to you, but most of all, what is going to be fulfilling for you? Let's look at this world. Why do we have this world card here for Pisces, please? For the third time, the world card. Why do we have this world card for Pisces, please? And we have the nine of cups. What do you truly desire, Pisces? What's on your heart? What is going to truly, truly fulfill you and be your wish fulfillment? Let's take a look at this Nine of Cups. Spirit, what is this Nine of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces? This is crazy. We have the Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands. So something that you thought was going to be your wish fulfillment actually is not um let's take one more card for this nine of cups please oops 
and we have two coming out. We have the five of swords, wanting what you want at any cost. And there's a harsh reality here. So, you know, this reading, I'm feeling, you know, and it could very well be because we're in um, Mercury retrograde right now. I'm, I'm feeling a very blocked energy. I'm going to get another card, uh, another deck here. And, and just ask Spirit what they want you to do, what guidance and advice. Let's ask what guidance and advice Spirit has for you right now to help you through this energy. Spirit, what guidance and advice do you have for Pisces to help them through this energy? What guidance and advice do you have for Pisces to help them through this energy of lack of fulfillment? And we, we have the Three of Swords coming out for the second time. What guidance and advice do you have for Pisces to help them through this lack of fulfillment? And then we have the three of wands, or the four of wands celebrating along with the seven of cups. So I'm really seeing taking your focus off the things that did not work out, the things that were disappointing, and focusing on things in your life that you can celebrate, that you can find joy in. And really looking at other options other than the ones that were before you. Looking, really re-examining what your wish fulfillment is and what you previously thought would be or would not be fulfilling for you. Because we're seeing a repeat message with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. And Spirit's saying, please move forward out of the energy, excuse me, where you're giving your time, efforts, attention to something that you thought would be your wish fulfillment, but quite frankly, may not have been the most healthy thing for you. Whether that's a person, a situation, a behavior, let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading. Spirit, one card for thank you. That was quick. And here for the overall energy, trapped in fear. So we do see some type of self-imposed mental anguish some type of difficulty that's holding you. I'm hearing hostage almost. Um, let's get one more card for the overall energy, please, Spirit. One more card for the overall energy. Thank you. And love begins. So this is the Ace of Cups coming out. You know, sometimes all you need is love. And maybe you were thinking you would get love from one particular source and it didn't pan out. Or maybe you had your eyes sat on a particular thing that you thought you would love, but it's, it turned out to be the devil energy instead, an obsession, an unhealthy situation. Spirit, one herb oracle for Pisces, please. One herb oracle for Pisces. One herb oracle, thank you. For your herb oracle today, Pisces, we are getting life purpose. So really focusing on what is in alignment for you versus what what you've been looking at that has been unfulfilling for you. Whether, you know, again, I, I'm feeling as though a number of you have been having interactions with a person or people and it just has not been fulfilling for you. So it may be time for you to focus on yourself, Nine of Pentacles, you know, put the focus back on yourself and give that energy, give that attention to yourself. Love yourself, value yourself, um, take yourself out on dates, buy yourself flowers. I mean, these are just examples of things you can do to celebrate yourself. We're seeing here with the Three of Swords, you have some, I mean, this is what's coming up in the energy. Three of Swords twice, holding on to some type of pain. But here with the Four of Wands, Spirit is saying, no, go celebrate Pisces. Go find your joy again. Look at the different options you have before you. You have more options before you that have the possibility to, you know, really bring fulfillment to you. Spirit, one fortune oracle for Pisces, please. One fortune oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. And then we have patience, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Let's pull one more fortune oracle. One more fortune oracle for Pisces, please. 
Yeah, I, I think it's just the energy of Mercury retrograde that's kind of blocking energy right now. Kind of mucking it up. And then we have Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Let's pull some angel answers. Spirit, what angel answers do you have for Pisces today, please? What angel and thank you. And for your angel answers, helpful people, let's pull one more angel answers. One more angel answers for Pisces, please, Spirit. And we have compromise coming out. So helpful people and compromise. So I do feel we're getting the energy of compromise um, because of the fact that you had been looking at something, making a choice regarding a situation that may have not been the most healthy or the most fulfilling for you. You could have poured your energy into this and it just seemed to come up empty, like an empty shell, echoing and echoing back to you the fact that it wasn't what you, it wasn't truly a match for you. And this is about you moving on, chariot card, moving forward, listening to your intuition regarding the past, coming into your empress energy and making a decision to go forward and manifest something new for yourself, taking a bold leap of faith and leaving behind, letting go heartache and pain of a partnership, a, a collaboration, a situation, returning to the place of your confidence, of your self-esteem, of your, your center and grounding yourself and moving forward with your eyes fixed on the reality that what you used to focus on is no longer a match for you and it's time to look towards things that are going to, going to be much more fulfilling for you. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.